This is Bowie. He's a really affectionate, playful seven-year-old lurcher boy who is looking for his new home. Bowie came into our care via another organisation. Um, we do know that before he came to us, he had quite an unsettled time and he's been passed around quite a lot. So it would be really nice to see him settle down in his forever home as soon as possible. Bowie's a really affectionate boy. Um, he loves a fuss, loves a cuddle, um, likes to roll around on the sofa next to you. Um, he can be a little bit worried about um, being asked to get off the sofa. So um, in a previous home, we know that when they tried to physically move him off the sofa, he did growl at them. Um, but he's so food motivated that actually, if you do need him to get off the sofa for whatever reason, if you offer him a treat, he'll jump straight down. <clears throat> so that shouldn't be a problem um, in his new home. He also can be a bit of a wimp if he's in pain or if he's hurt um, and he can growl or snap to let you know that he's not comfortable about being handled in places that are sore, um, which is really understandable and, and not unusual for, you know, for a lot of dogs. Um, but we do think that he would be happier in an adult only home, um, although he doesn't necessarily have an issue with children out and about. We just think that he would prefer not to live with children. Bowie's favourite thing in the whole world is food. Um, he's not picky at all. Any food will do. Um, and he will do anything for a treat. So in terms of training, not only is he food motivated, but he's also really clever. So anything that you want to teach him using reward based training, he should pick up really quickly um, and he'll really enjoy, um, you know, learning new things as well. He's really responsive on a walk. So if you do need to get his attention for whatever reason, if you just call his name, um, he'll turn around expecting his treat. He will probably help himself to any food that's left within his reach. So um, his new adopter will just need to be a bit careful about leaving things on the side. Um, and you might need to restrict his access to the bin and things like that um, because he is quite a greedy boy. Despite his age, Bowie is still full of energy. He's still really active and bouncy. So um, he loves playing with toys, zooming around with a toy in his mouth or playing tug. Um, and he also loves going out for walks. So um, Bowie is generally um, walks really well on the lead. Um, he can be quite strong when he's excited, especially at the beginning of the walk um, or if there's something that he wants to investigate. So um, he's looking for somebody who's um, physically fit and active enough to manage him on lead and also give him the amount of exercise he needs. Although he will be quite happy to settle down and, and snooze on the sofa once he's had his exercise. Bowie's not worried by um, traffic or being around, um, you know, larger numbers of people that he doesn't know and that sort of thing. So he's quite happy walking in a suburban area or even a more urban area. So he could live in a more built up environment um, than a lot of our dogs could. Um, in terms of other dogs, he's generally friendly with other dogs. So on walks, he's normally quite happy to either say hello to dogs that he passes or just pass by them and have a treat and not say hello. Um, he's not quite so comfortable with areas where there are lots of dogs running around or especially dogs running up to him off lead. So he'd prefer not to walk in sort of busy parks or areas where that's going to happen a lot. Um, when he was with a, a kennels that he was with previously, they did report that there was some dog reactivity so that he, he could be a bit barky with other dogs. We haven't seen any of that at all. Um, so we think that was probably more stress related, um, you know, from being in kennels. But he does prefer quieter areas in terms of how many dogs are there. Um, he doesn't want to share his home with another dog. Um, he's very keen on his food and his toys and his sofa and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and he doesn't really like to share those things with the dog. So he is looking to be the only pet. Um, but he could have dog walking friends out on walks, um, you know, if there were regular dogs that, that you wanted to take him out with. So Bowie travels pretty well in the car. Um, he's a little bit unsettled. He can be a little bit whiny. Um, so he probably doesn't want to do lots of really long journeys on a regular basis. Um, but he should be able to get used to longer journeys, um, especially if he starts to learn that he's going to fun places rather than scary places like the vet. Although we don't know all of Bowie's history, we do know that he spent um, a fair amount of time in a foster home before he came into our care. So um, his foster carer said that he was a really lovely boy, really affectionate, um, loved being with his people and thrived on human contact. Uh, he wasn't initially house trained, but he did pick it up pretty quickly. So he should be able to do that again when he goes into his new home.
Um, he wasn't a big fan of spending a lot of time on his own, so um, he did struggle to stay downstairs by himself overnight, um, but did sleep really well if he was allowed to have his own bed in the foster carer's bedroom. So he will need a similar setup in his new home, um, and he'll also need somebody who's going to be there with him most of the time to start with at least, um, although he might be able to gradually build up to short periods of kind of an hour, a couple of hours at a time if somebody needs to go shopping or something like that, but he doesn't want to be left alone for uh, long periods. As you can probably see from Bowie's videos, um, he is quite underweight at the moment um, and that's because despite um, being really foody and eating really well, he's struggling to keep weight on while he's in kennels, um, which is probably a result of being stressed. Um, because he's been in a home before and because he loves people so much, being in a kennel environment is quite difficult for him. So we would really like to see him out in a home um, as soon as possible um, so that he can enjoy the rest of his life. Um, he's a really nice dog. Um, he's got loads of personality and he's really funny. You know, he'll make you laugh every day. So if you think that you could offer him a home, uh, please do get in touch.